Alright everybody, hello and welcome back to some Super Mario RPG. And we last left off here in Rose Town, there were these arrows that were coming out of the sky, as you can see like right there, and they're hitting these townsfolks and uh, freezing them in place. So I can't remember, I don't think we came in here and did anything, did we? Let's see, no we don't need any of that. Alright, uh... Did we buy this stuff? Let me see. Oh, we already did. Okay, never mind then. We already bought some of this stuff, so we will go ahead and exit out. And if you come over this direction, the inn is right here. I don't know if we can... The force arrows have been showering our town. Oh! Oh, man. I I can't move. So, anyways, uh, come in here. We'll le see this scene unfold before our eyes. Mario, help! We take care of Princess Toadstool now. Boing, boing. Super jump attack. So yeah, we see, we find this little boy, and he's playing with these dolls. Little boy playing with dolls. Of course, these are pretty cool dolls. I used to not necessarily have dolls. We had action figures and stuff like that. And of course, back in the day, like back in the 80s, uh, Mario, the Mario Brothers were pretty popular I mean they're still pretty popular now but they had like a lot of toys that you could buy uh, like the cool things were the ones that came in like Happy Meals like McDonald's Happy Meals those are always the coolest thing and uh, I remember one specific toy that we had was the uh, one of the Koopa Troopas the red shelled Koopa Troopas the winged ones and you could, like uh, I don't remember like exactly the whole thing with it but uh, we'll go ahead and play with them and or we'll go ahead and jump there, rather. <laughs> He's playing I'm Saving the World. But, but anyways, uh, you could get, like, these toys. And we had the, the red shell of Koopa Troopa. I think it was red shell. might have been green, but I'm pretty sure it was red. There were no blue shells back in the day. That was a uh, Mario 64, Mario Kart 64 thing. You could be Bowser, I'll be Gino, okay? So anyways, uh, yeah, those were our Mario toys. Whoa! Oh, scary, but just watch me. Better watch out, Bowser, because Gina's going to blow you away. It's a rough little boy. Your turn, Bowser. And, of course, Mario is going to retaliate and do the exact same thing. Ow! Oh, no, if he keeps this up, I'm finished. All right, you asked for it. The super-duper custom-patented one and only shooting star shot. Holy crap. <laughs> I, uh, I think I missed. Oh, dear, oh, my. Mario, are you all right? And apparently we get knocked out. And so now it kind of shoots to the inn at, no at night. Everything is being put up. It's nice and quiet. It's dark outside. And we see a little bit of something, some magic happening here. Also, guys, I'd like to apologize. In my last video, I didn't realize this until I actually uploaded the video. Um, but my cursor was on the screen, like, basically the entire time. And so I'll have that fixed this time around, but I do apologize. I honestly didn't notice. Uh, there was no way for me to fix it since I had already rendered the video and got rid of the project video. And the project video is what's used to, what well, you can edit and everything. Now, I could edit the rendered video, but as far as, like, the cursor, I wouldn't have been able to take the cursor out. Uh, I, you have to do that in the project video, and so, um, looks like the doll Gino has, uh, come to life. <laughs> Chose to take Gino's form rather than Mario's form, I don't know why. Anyways, so I do apologize for that. I, I wish I could have fixed it, and I wasn't going to re-record the entire episode just because of a cursor. It's pretty small and not as noticeable. But I know people will probably mention it at some point in time. Anyways, we'll go ahead and save our game. We really need to level up at least probably another two levels um, here soon. Mom, you'll never believe what I just saw. It was amazing, Mom. I just saw Gino walk into the forest. Neat, huh? Yes, dear. That's nice, dear. And isn't Gino the one who broke my lamp the other day? Ah, uh, Mom, that was just, well, you know. Now, this was real. I swear, Mom, really, it's true. I saw him outside. Gino's a real boy. I didn't do anything. I really, truly saw Gino walking through the forest. 
So we can come over here and we talk with her. Oh boy, this boy's impossible. Okay, never mind. I guess we can. I thought I was thought I was gonna be able to do something else. All right, so I think that is it for in here. So let's go ahead and exit, and we are now able to go to the forest maze. And you'll find like items like this. Actually, hold on one second. Well, we'll go ahead and pick this up. Pick up a mushroom. Uh, you can find like loose mushrooms on the ground, but give me just a second, guys. I'm gonna pause it. All right, we're back. Sorry about that. I had to look up, see where all these treasure, hidden treasure chests were. So there is one right here, which I remember that one. It's a Kiro Kiro Coal. Well, that's pretty awesome. There are several in this area. There are several treasure chests in this area. So uh, you gotta be on the lookout. Now, some of these mushrooms you can pick up, and some of them are actually like fakes. So, uh, yeah. We also need to... We'll go ahead and fight this, because we need a level up. We'll go ahead and show some of the new uh, enemies as well. Oh man, I... Did not time that one at all. So we get some wigglers here. And we get the froggy sticks. Oh, getting an email. You guys probably heard that. Yeah, we definitely probably need to level up a little bit. There we go. That was a good one. I forgot that we had the knock-knock shell and I was timing for the hammer. Which threw my last... The first, the first hit off. Anyways. These guys aren't too hard. There is a specific enemy in the forest that is a little bit more difficult. Kind of looks like a Donkey Kong. I can't honestly remember what the name is. But um, it is a little bit more... It has a lot of HP. Six. Do you want to double your coins? You know what? Sure. Because we got a Lucky. So, honestly... A tie. I say... I don't know if you can really... I think it's just random where they... Uh, what, where the Yoshi's at, but... Oh, there we go. So, like, this mushroom here is actually... I'll go ahead and show it, but this is... Oh, well, that's an actual mushroom. Okay, never mind. This one here, yeah. So, you can, you can see it's an actual uh, <laughs> enemy and not a mushroom you can pick up. So, let's go ahead and get out of here. And right here... I'm almost positive there's a... Oh, this thing. I'm almost positive that there, there's a secret chest there. All right, and there's these bees. Not a not a big fan of the bees here. And do you guys remember what the uh, path was for? Uh, actually, we're gonna do a super jump here for the forest. Cause I don't. Crap. Thirteen jumps, that's not bad at all. We want to try to get more than that, because you'll see why later in the game. But we want to try to get a lot of jumps. Because you actually get rewarded for the like for a certain amount of jumps. And so then we're gonna to try to get that. It's a little bit hard, I've only done it twice. So it is difficult to do. We're gonna go ahead and go down this one. Alright. And I don't remember. Oh man, I, there's a secret chest in here as well. I just don't remember where it's at. Oh, not good. Doing the jump attack, like the super jump or something, multiple times on enemies that are flying because they're bouncing up and down, is actually really hard to do because you have to do it. Uh, it's all timed, and you have to like hit your B button, your jump button, like right before you hit them to keep jumping. Oh, we level up. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Obviously, gonna take the attack. Oh, there it is. And it's a flower. So, awesome. So, and there's actually... There's, there's seven stumps here. So there's one in that. There's one in here. Um... Oh, I don't remember if it's... This one is actually back here. Or if it's the one that's actually back here. Hmm. We'll see. And I don't have any antidote pins. Well, I have an antidote pin. I just don't have it, uh... Ooh, man, we're doing a lot of damage on these guys. I just don't have it equipped. And that guy's gonna... Ooh, that guy's gonna run away. Get a honey syrup. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Alright, so let's... Let's go ahead and see what kind of damage we can do to these guys. 68. Mallow is not doing too well here. So as you can see, these guys have a lot of... Ooh. 
That isn't too bad. Have a lot of uh, health. Mallow is just about dead. So we're gonna have to heal up here. This poison damage is gonna do a work on me. Okay, there we go. Six experience points. Oh, and Mallow's up. Awesome. So let's see. What do we want with, with Mallow? Do we want some more attack power? Do we want some more health? Well, we're getting to the point now where I think we're probably good on magic. So we're going to go ahead and go with uh, some attack power for Mallow. Get him up there with Mario. Okay, so I can't remember if... Okay. I can't remember where it's at in here. I know it's in here. Let me see here. Alright, so it should be over here. I just had to look it up real quick on my tablet, but I don't seem to be able to find it. So I'm not real sure exactly. Did I just go into battle? I did. That's what I get for blindly just jumping around. That's okay. We haven't seen these little toad things anyway, so we'll actually go ahead and use Thunderbolt. See what we can get on this. No, oh, well, God, just destroyed that one. And now these guys can actually turn you into scarecrows. But I can't remember if we. Oh, we. Oh, they're mushrooms. I'm sorry. Oh boy. That's not good. But I think we'll be able to take them out here. You have to have a true form pin for that. Same thing with like the the scarecrow bit. Okay. It says it's right here, but I'm not seeing it, so maybe it's down in a different, uh, a different one. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. This one has one, too. Oh, right there. But you missed. <laughs> it's empty. It's an empty one. I don't know. I think there's, like, another one that's kind of like that, too. So maybe it's in this one. I don't know. There's one in a corner somewhere. We're just gonna keep. Really, there's nothing down these areas. Uh, I'm gonna. Well, I'm gonna, say I'm gonna clear out these these enemies real quick. But I guess we'll. Since I was talking while going into this battle, we'll just go ahead and keep it in. Cause why not? We're actually gonna get rid of this guy first. Cause this guy, I don't want the risk of uh, turning into a mushroom. Yeah, and that that'll take care of them. Awesome. That worked out really well for us. So, uh, well, I don't know if we're gonna... I don't think this is it. You know what, we might have to come back for it. Or maybe I'll, I'll throw it in at the very end of the video. I think that's what I'll do. I'll throw it in at the end of the video. Anyways, we can go down here. And uh, this is the stump we want. And we got this guy. We jump on him and he'll shoot us up. Bam. And now there's a path. So this is the same area. It's just now there's a new path open up for us. We can follow him down. And go through this little series of uh, corridors and whatnot. So when I, uh, when I was young, like I said, if you remember, I said that I uh, rented this game. And, um, I think, yeah. I rented this game and... As far as we could get was to the forest. That was as far as I got, because I couldn't beat Bowyer. I didn't know how to beat uh, Bowyer. Bowyer's the boss. I just had a little bit of a spoiler. But anyways, he's the boss. I couldn't beat the boss. And we can pick up this one. And actually, over in this corner, there's a red essence, which makes you, like, invincible for, like, three turns in a battle. So, uh, anyways, I'm trying to think here. What was that? What was those paths? It was, like, left, left straight right I think we're gonna try it out because so in this area it's, it's a maze and then you can see Gino now typically you want to follow Gino but here we're gonna go left and you do you go from the direction that from when you're entering so now we go left again I'm pretty sure we go straight and then right oh I was right oh yes I was trying to recall from memory from a couple days ago wow so yeah, you go from like the direction you're actually facing when you enter. You don't go like left, left, straight, right, just like what it looks like on the map. So we get a, some more flowers, um, we're healed up, and a frog coin. Awesome. So that's a good bit of goodies there. 
So we go ahead and exit out because now we want to follow Gino. Anyways, the first time I ever played this game, you know, we rented, we got stuck here in the forest. And I don't remember exactly where I need to go. Because there's like one of these. Oops. Did not mean to do that. And uh, and then, it was really strange because uh, we, we took the game back, but I bought the game. And there was already a save file on our game, which was really odd. I, which I've never seen that before in a game that we bought. Uh, but there was already a save file on the game, and the game was, or the save file was like right after the forest. So we didn't even have to, I just started picking it up, picked it up from there and went on. <laughs> I didn't even have to finish, you know, the forest at all. So I don't, oh, no, 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 I don't remember if I need to go this way or not. I don't think so, I think I just went the wrong way. I did. Oh man, we gotta start over, okay. Maybe it's straight, I think maybe I have to go straight. So we follow Gino. Yeah, right there. Straight. I think we have to go straight again. And then we turn. Maybe not. God bless it. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's only one other direction we can possibly go. So we go sh oh. Alright, so... <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm just going to cut that one out. So I guess we have to go this way. Yes, that was the right way, and then up this way. And it looks like a little something surprised him. So, boy, uh, 997, 998, 999, 1,000, yeah, <laughs> 1,000 arrows for cover they run. Yeah. Fun this is, yes. Yeah. Another 1,000 will I shoot. So, there we go. And this, folks, is the boss that I could not beat when I was younger. Had a lot of difficulty. I don't know why. What practice do I need? Oh no, he's not stopping. We've got to do something. <laughs> what do you think you are, Bruce Lee? You can't just go in there with your fists flying. There's too many of them. We'll be creamed. Oh no, someone's coming. Let's hide and see if we can learn anything. So I'm going to hide over here. Oh, look at that. There's a star. Look what I found. What? what? Disturb me, you must not. Practicing I am. More arrows must I shoot. More statues must I make. Yeah. Stop. And hold it right there. And of course, you see question mark, question mark, question mark. Because I don't think Gino is actually his real name. Otherwise, it would say Gino because you'd already know that from, you know, having a little uh, get together with that boy. That sounds really nasty and dirty. I serve a higher authority. That star piece belongs to everyone. You can't keep it. Yeah, yeah. Angry I am. Yeah. A lesson I will teach you. I kind of like to imagine Gino like, with that, with that, uh, hey, chill out. Like, okay. I like to imagine Gino with a uh, Batman voice, but here's what I don't get. What in the world is Mario and Mallow doing? Why are they why are they feeding birds at a time like this? Where are they even feeding these birds at? Obviously it's in the forest, but why would they even leave the area? It's dangerous out there. I don't understand. I never understood this. Why are they out? They should show them like behind standing behind the stump. They're going to help, huh? Whack that weirdo, save the guy in blue. Me too. I will do what I can. But from over here. It's just so I always found this so odd. And look at this. Why are we so far away? I don't understand. Why are we so far away? And you and if you don't let this the the text scroll, they'll just run on forever. Look at them. They're just running on. It's just I, they're forever away. It's ridiculous. I I don't know why. I always found it hilarious. I don't know, is Gino crying? I don't think Batman would cry. Stop it! That's enough! Oh, yeah, yeah. Strong you are, but stronger am I. Hurt you, I will. So long, yeah. Part, now we must. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And Mario saves the day. Sweet. He gives us the peace sign. Thanks for the help. But who are you? I'm Batman. Mario, you just ditched me back there. Oh. Huh? Don't I know you? You look familiar. So, you're THE Mario. We know about you. Okay, I probably need to stop. <laughs> stop with the voices. Oh my god. Guys, I did voices in my... Uh, oh, here we get to actually use Geno. Awesome. And we're gonna hold Y for power. But, uh, my very first LB, I used voices, and it was god-awful. Oh my god. It was horrible. Uh, not too bad, but it could have been a lot better. Um, we'll go ahead and use Psychopath. We'll see how much health he has, and see what he's thinking. Oh, didn't get... Oh, five... What's with these folks? Okay, 578. He doesn't really have a whole lot of health. And I don't know why I always thought this was a hard battle, because it really isn't. Now, th three against one. Yeah, fair. Fix it, I will. Yeah. Shoot an arrow, I shall. When a target it hits, that button locked. So this, I think, made it really difficult for me. And it's really not th that hard to get through, because he blocks one of your buttons. But overall, if you're leveled up good enough, it doesn't matter if you're using magic or like you're just a regular uh, attack. Oh, 22! Oh, we need to get to 30! That was so good! Oh, sorry there's a little bit of quietness there, but oh my goodness, that was so close. So now we can't use our special attacks, which that's, <laughs> that is perfectly alright. That's not a big deal at all. Like I said, our actual attack power is pretty good right now, so... And this should put us to sleep. Yeah. Not a big deal, because he gets hit one more time. But if we have an able juice, we can use uh, an able juice to wake him up, but I am not at all concerned about Mallow and his weak hitting ability, so. We should be really super close. So uh, now we can't use our regular attack, but like I said, it's perfectly fine because. Uh, whoa! That is a lot of damage there. That is perfectly fine. We're going to go ahead and have him use a Honey Syrup. So that Mario can use a Super Jump. And uh, let's see if we can get... Let's see if we can get more than 22 this time. So, here we go. Nope, just 14. Ah, uh, not that great at all. Oh, man. Oh. Yikes. So, now we're pretty close to being <laughs> dead on everybody. But, we do have a... What is it? I believe it's a Kiro Kiro Cola. Yes, will work for everybody. So, we'll go ahead and use one of these. There we go. Get a freebie. And we got a freebie. Sweet. And this should probably... This filled up our FP and our HP. So, this should probably do it. Man, crap. Crap, crap to crap. This seems to get worse for us. And oh god, that's that's quite alright that we can't use items here. Yep, there we go. And that's the battle. That was not really that difficult at all. I don't know why that was really hard for me when I was a kid. But yeah. And we get a flower box. Wow, we got 20 experience points, 50 coins, and a flower box. That was a good battle right there. Thanks for the help. You really got me out of a jam. Why are you staring at me? You know I'm more than just a doll, don't you? <laughs> Mario just looks at the camera. Oh, man. So, uh, this is obviously isn't Gino's real form, as he just says there. About the Star Road? Completely in the dark, eh? Well, it's a big mess up there right now, and it concerns you too. Let me explain. 
Oh man, now we gotta go some do some dialogue. This video is gonna be a little bit longer, but I felt like it was a necessity to actually finish off the forest rather than stop in midway or, or even before the boss. I really did want to go ahead and finish this all off. Oh no, wishes can't come true anymore. Are you saying this star is a part of your star right? A star way? That's Star Road, my fluffy little friend. Yes, that star is a broken piece of the Star Road. I'm here to find them all and repair the Star Road. The broken star pieces? There are seven altogether. For peace to return, we must get rid of Smithy, find the star pieces, and repair the Star Road. I'm, uh, la la la, <laughs> but it's hard to pronounce, so call me Gino after the doll. I chose him because he looks like the strongest out of the dolls. How insulting to Mario. And so we get a star. A green, a pretty green one at that. Green like nature in which we are abundantly in right now in this forest. And guys, stick around because at the end of this video, I will add the clip of us getting the last um, hidden chest in the forest. I apologize that I couldn't find it, but we will uh, we will get it. I will re-enter the forest and go get it and add it to the end of the clip here. And we got our second star piece. So if you look now to the left of your screen, you'll see that two star pieces have indeed been added. Come on, let's get this show on the road. Sweet. Joins Mario and Mallow. And now if you look again, Gino will now be added to our party. So very exciting. One star piece, a new member of the party, and guys, that is it. We are, well, maybe not. The secret of the studio stars has been, has been unraveled. Find the star pieces and bring peace back to the world. Sure thing. So we're actually going to go ahead and end it here. Guys, thanks for watching. And uh, like I said, stay tuned for that last uh, treasure chest clip. And until next time, I'll catch you all around. All right, guys, so we're back at the very end of this video here. So we come back to this area with the stumps. And actually, the secret chest is in the very last stump. So you remember where the Wiggler was sleeping. If we come over here, it's behind him. And there's a Kiro Kiro Cola. So that is our last secret air, uh, chest and our last hidden chest in this area. So our next area, we will our next video rather, we will go ahead and we will start off in Rose Town. So guys, again, thanks for watching.